AI models struggle when the documents we give them are too large. How can we deal with this? This is where chunking comes in. Let's take a look at some simple ways of doing this. Let's look at the Wikipedia page for the Loch Ness Monster. This document is pretty big and contains lots of different details. So let's split it up into different parts. The easiest way to split this document up would be based on a fixed number of words or tokens. For example, let's just split it into chunks of five words each. This is called token chunking and we can pick any number of tokens we think would be best. But this is an arbitrary cutoff and maybe individual sentences might have more self-contained meaning. This is called sentence chunking and similar to token chunking we could also pick for example five sentences at once. But you might miss information by arbitrarily cutting off your chunk at the end of a sentence. Individual sections likely contain a more specific meaning and we can use the sections themselves as chunks. This is called document-based chunking and is particularly good for structured data like HTML, JSON or Markdown. But this is not as good for unstructured data or where your sections might be extremely large. And of course we can combine these methods. For instance, we could chunk by taking every 10 sentences within a section. But is there a more effective approach? Perhaps we could chunk based on the underlying meaning of each sentence. Stay tuned for part two where we will dive into advanced chunking techniques. And in the meanwhile, you can explore additional resources in the description above.